Things don't always go according to plan. Things can sometimes get wrecked. I may take things like this a little too far. Kind of just that little ugly spot on the back of your shirt, you just decide isn't there. We are at the ice. All right, you're at the ice, and go ahead and remove those sheets of paper. Um, I'm going to start with uh, things in this case once you guys are at about a midpoint across the lake. So if you guys move yourselves out towards the middle of the map and give me a marching order towards the island. In the island's alley? I'm letting these guys go first. So if it's the island is that way. Okay, okay, so you guys are all spread are out, side by yeah. side, walking in a broad, sweeping line. Um, <laughs> if it starts cracking, I'm running. And you're going to slip and fall on your ass. Probably. Okay. <laughs> so, at this point, fog rolls in. We had to go across the ice. Yep. We in had to go across the ice in the dark. It's colder. And now we're getting fog. It's colder at night. It means the ice might be more but solid. Now we're getting fog. We can't see in this. It's we're... just the weather. And we know I'm going it's straight. So troublesome. So listen, call me crazy, but we are crazy. Uh, at this point crossing a lake towards an island we can't see. Elves is How about we don't talk? Oh, I knew what was that. that? Elves is a succulent. I get the big one. I get the big one. I want the big one. He's the big one. They better you not have the enough. big one. His is orcs is smelling this. I want the succulent. Nice, juicy, juicy little one. All right, then. Say and the one that smells. You're carrying the body. Everybody rolls initiative. It's better than last time. That's a seven. One. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I got 21 five. again. I got a 21 again, so... 17. Okay, so the order this time around is going to be Horde. Ellie. We have to fight on the ice. And... I seven, you said? Seven. Wrecker. Caviar. I'm gonna call you caviar for that. Okay. <laughs> caviar. <laughs> there is something unnatural about this fog. And spellcasters may detect a faint magical presence in the air. Okay. All of you are in fog. Okay. You all have obscured vision. Okay. So, horde. What do you do? Spin your javelin like a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about throwing my javelin in the general direction that I heard the That sounds like a terrible from. idea. Well, how, <laughs> how on where right. are we? Can we see each other or can we see the island a little bit? Or how, how far is our vision? You know what? Yes. Look up fog cloud for me. That sounds like work. That's direction. one of my spells. It's a 20 foot sphere. And how far can we see? So. 20 foot radius. It's a 20 foot sphere of fog. Our uh, vision is heavily obscured. I guess that's up to the GM. Let's center two fog cloud spells. One. Well, no, you just move the island. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys. There you go. There is. A fog cloud here 
and one over here. Oh, yeah, seriously, too okay. You move the island again. Shut up. So, there's the island. <laughs> but now we can't see our characters. Overlapping clouds of fog. Okay, just consider yourselves very likely to be within the fog unless you move significantly forward. Okay. Or to the sides or whatever. So to make the decision of what I'm going to do, where did the voices come from that were saying they wanted to be us? Yes. Is this a good approximation for the island, by the way? Yes, it is. Okay. And the voices came from up ahead. So, so if I threw a javelin call. at them, it would not be towards them. Probably not. I'll take that chance. <laughs> you can move first, by the way. Yeah, but then I don't know if I'm moving closer to the things that want to eat me. You, or not. you were pointing in one direction, where the fog, where the island was. If you had to keep heading in that general direction, you should reach the island. <laughs> is that general direction where the horses came from? Was the island? In the general direction of the island, yes. We had to go to the island. Yes! Where there are things that are going to try to eat us. It's an adventure! Have some fun! Sure, fun. Throwing my job in the general direction of the voices that said I want to eat them. <laughs> okay, so you're throwing completely blind. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to call that a minus, like, ten. Okay. Actually, can somebody look up the penalty for completely blind? You have no idea where they are. No, I just have the general direction. I think it's He's also a disadvantage for having complete concealment, too. Yeah. What's the range on that? 60 feet. Uh, I don't when you attack not... a target that you can't see, you have disadvantage on the attack roll. This is true whether you're guessing the target's location or you're targeting a creature you can hear but not see. If the target isn't in the location you targeted, you automatically miss. So, no penalty, just disadvantage. You also can't roll. Or well, you can roll, but... Well, I don't know if they no, are true. on the island or they not. Could be. We still heard their voices. Sure. He's, he's throwing, so go ahead and, and make your throw. Where do you want to throw? That way. So. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say that it's roughly in the direction. Yeah. Okay, make your throw. Disadvantage, so you're going to roll twice, and we're going to take whichever roll is worse. 17, it's likely not going to be that one. Go ahead and roll again. <laughs> 12. 12, we're going to take that one. Do I add anything to it or no? Your standard yes. attack bonuses. Okay, so that's 15. Okay. You have a plus two proficiency as well. I Are do. you proficient javelin? Well, it, it's a simple weapon, so yeah. I'm not so then you get the plus oh, okay. two as well. Okay then, so that's 17. So, something cries out. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Six. Let's see if that was one of Plus us. Plus your strength modifier. Oh yeah. Nine. Wait. Ten. Ten. Strength is eighteen, so that's four. <laughs> okay. Was that something cool. like an ice going? Yeah! Gets the big one. Who? What? Ellie, you're up. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you didn't hit the ice with your mighty javelin throw. <laughs> I'm impressed. We don't know that, though. That's we true. can't see him. <laughs> you just know one of them is in pain. Here. <laughs> oh, did you move oh, Did you want to move? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm no. going to draw my weapons and go on the defensive. Okay. So you are ready. Um, you can move defensively, too. But then it's half speed on your half speed. <laughs> I need active perception rolls from everybody. 14. Are we passive or active? Active. active. You have to roll. What do you add to, per to perception? Wisdom? Okay. Plus 6. 12. It was on 16, then rolled back to 6. I have to think of another dice. <laughs> 15. 18. Okay, anybody who does not beat DC 15, raise your hands. Just it. <laughs> you guys are going to be caught unaware. Oh. Okay. And this system is meeting it counted as a success? Or yes. Okay. okay. So, what happens 
is that you guys get some things swooping in out of the fog and attacking. And they're going to attack, uh, I don't know, the two guys up front. So those, the oh. scattered dogs. Those are the two that are caught unaware, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so we're going to roll with that. Um, that sounds back. pretty reasonable. Um, no one likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the most damage already. Fortunately, no one's really close to anyone else. So, uh, wait a minute. You know what? You guys are close enough. You guys are indeed close enough. So, here's what I'd like you to do. Take that green D8 and move it one square towards Fettier. There you go. And take that one. There you go. That's the line. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I need everybody to do is roll a saving throw. What, are we what kind of saving throw? Let's say it's a dexterity saving throw. Can I use acrobatics instead? Nope. You could roll a dexterity saving throw. Eighteen. Uh, and if you don't have uh, proficiency, you just add your dex, right? Correct. Okay. Then that would be a sixteen. Five. <laughs> That's my first. Raise bad your roll. hand if you fail a DC ten dexterity save. Wait. <laughs> the two that were aware. I can't make that. <laughs> okay. So, on this side of the table, okay, if you succeeded in your save, take half. Otherwise, take full damage. Three. Round down or up? You know what? Go ahead and round down. On this side of the table, five. Ow. Run down. Yep. So two. That's so pretty okay. I've got twelve left. Now, take those and move them each three squares further along that kind of a path. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Does that provoke a tax of opportunity? I'm not prone. We can't see it. It does provoke a tax of opportunity for you two. Curious. Wait! Were you two surprised? Yes. Yeah. Good call. Actually, quick question for spellcasters. I don't recall in 5th edition. Can you attack of opportunity with a spell? I think I have will spells. I would let you do it with a cantrip. Okay. Well, I can't do it now, but that's still good to know. Okay. So, these things come shrieking out of the fog, <sighs> blasting you guys with cold. It's chilling. Uh. And overfly you slightly. Okay. Wrecker, you're up. All right. I move half speed. One, two, three. And then I blast the thing with a firebolt, so I need to make an attack. Fire on ice. We're going to be... Are you still really obscure? Uh, uh, this will turn I out I can well. see that, right? I'm going to say that you're, you're close enough to probably see it, but no, I'm still going to leave you with disadvantage. Please don't cast fire on the frozen lake. Are you rolling for wildfire, by the way? No, cantrips don't roll on the wildfire chart. Well, only first are, level and above. And why are you wasting it with a cantrip? Because I can only cast like two normal. <laughs> We're about to rest anyway. Oh, it's a nat twenty and a six. <laughs> We're gonna go with the six. Aww. So what armor class can you hit with a six? That would be a twelve. Believe it or not, that's good enough to hit. Woo! <laughs> Success. Seven. Oh, no plus. No, sadly. Alright. And it was on fire. Don't worry. It's, 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 it's it air, shrieks! Right? Yes, the fire! Yes, the fire! Kill it. kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it now! Had to use fire. <laughs> Avier did it! Avier! <laughs> they don't actually know what an Avier is, buddy. <laughs> 
So when I'm that close, do I have... Um... I'm, I'm going to say you can get close enough to not have disadvantage Perfect. if you're in melee range. Excellent. All right. Yeah, 20 million. So I will try. Disadvantage sucks, doesn't it? 17. That will be good enough to hit. For 9 points of damage. Oh, I kind of so want to fight the creature that makes a squeak when it gets hurt. I like these. I don't know yeah, they, they look like amber. Yeah, I do. Okay. It's a mosquito in there. Horde, you're up. Okay, if I'm moving at Horde half speed, does that... over here. <laughs> if I'm moving at half speed, does that mean I can only move half as far per turn? Yes. Okay. I can't get close enough for melee. Yeah, you can. Two, so you have 30 okay. speed, so you split that in half. So you can move 15 feet. One, two, three. Okay, then. And each square is five feet. You're cool with that? Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. Oh, God. crack! <laughs> yeah, I like you guys. You got are... within five feet of an ally. You are both standing on the ice. Crunch. You're on thin ice, pal. So, I need you to both make dexterity saves DC 15. Hey, okay, we're going to push them out of the water. 12. 15. <laughs> okay, you, you made your save. I will allow you to take a five foot step away to prevent being plunged into the icy water. Bye, Horde! <laughs> <laughs> Horde! You get too close and plunge. Plunge into the icy depths. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you proficient in swimming by chance? Okay. Swimming even a skill? No. No, but there is survival. Would that be in there? No. Uh, what I'm actually going to do athletics problem. Yeah. is first you're going to make need to make a DC 13 constitution save <laughs> to avoid the shock that's associated with plunging into icy cold water yeah. and be functional, rational, able to make decisions. DC 15? 13. DC 13, constitution save. Just give it 10 or higher. There you 14. Go. Okay, plunge. You are able to swim. Okay. At this point, there are a couple more saving throws that you may want to make. Okay. But you don't automatically lose your weapon. You you don't gasp in shock and forget to hold onto your weapon and drop it to the bottom of the lake. Can I grab this thing and drag it under with me? It's flying above the surface of the lake. Oh yeah. Can you describe uh, these guys to us too? Absolutely. These are ice shard-like beings with spindly long wings and long hook-like faces. Creepy. Oh wait, I'm underwater. <sighs> okay. You How can... many of your family members are we going to meet today, Wrecker? <laughs> <laughs> so, you're losing your actions this round, and I will allow you one last thing, and that is your choice of strength or dexterity check, ah. DC 14, to move yourself onto the surface of the ice, at which point you will be prone. And DC of what now? 14. Okay. I got a 15 anyways. So you are now, anything. move him one to the left. You're on the ice, prone. <laughs> Hi, Horde! And wet. <laughs> Kish! <Ugh>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too close to each other on the ice. Lessons learned. That was Horde. Ellie, you're up! Don't get close to me. Kill it with fire. I don't have any fire. I'm lightning. You have sacred fire. Remember, you're obscure that's radiant from damage. there. That's radiant damage. Oh, that's right. I think lightning is better for this anyway. Remember, you're obscure there. So you'll roll disadvantage. Not if she's in, she's right next to in melee. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was him. No. <laughs> no. The scattered ice. Which would have been bad, too. Uh, short swords. <laughs> All right. Can Dual wielding. Can you do that again? That was just fun. Ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> um, so go ahead and roll each of your attacks. Uh, 
25 on the first one. That's more than fine. <laughs> Roll your second attack is and then we can get the damage. only natural 20s now? Crit range is natural 20. Okay. And 20 on the second one. Okay. Nice. Both of those will hit, so roll your damage twice. First one is six. Second one is one. Then you're adding your strength bonuses to those? Or? I don't get my bonus on my second attack. Ah, well, do you, yeah, have, second you don't attack. have a strength bonus anyway, so... I'm using my dex. Oh, never mind. Then. Finesse weapons. Okay. <laughs> Chat hands. <laughs> In six spaces, can the green D8 get to Thadiar? Oh no. Two, three, four, five, yeah. If it wants to avoid an attack of opportunity, it can do that too. Yep. Okay. Dude! <laughs> Helping the DM. And move the other one. Um, yep, just one. All right, you used fire. They want to kill you, like, first. And that's a five-foot step, so nothing no for you here. <laughs> no, I didn't. They knew okay. it was you. So, disengage move. They are attacking. Hmm. And I can't throw my job. Thedier, what is your armor class? 13. 13. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks for burning him. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Don't die. And they both roll... Threes. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's all, all magic. All their bonuses are ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. Um, so at this point, it's over to Wrecker. Wrecker. Can who has two of these things flapping at you. You can kill it. It has fire. It has fire. What do I need to do to move away from them and not do as an attack opportunity? That's you give up your actions, and you can use the disengage move. Which will make sure that you don't provoke any attacks of opportunity this round. Can I cast a cantrip in, in combat? Or is that also an attack of opportunity when I do that? Spellcasting does not provoke attacks of opportunity. This is not third ed. Oh! Okay. You can spell cast in melee and not be worried about getting right. beaten instantly because you chose to play a mage. In that, that case, sucks so much in third and three point. Well, good because I want you to stay uh, engaged. So hit the blue one. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the blue one with fire again. Uh, okay. Nice. All right. That was a other paper. I hit. 22. Damage, please. D10. Nine points of fire damage. I have a thought out of character. It shrieks out <laughs> and turns into a pub. Woo I have a thought out of character. What if these things are what's freezing the ice? I don't think so. And besides, eh. Javier. Javier. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, trophy. You're not keeping it. <laughs> You're not putting it in a bottle right and keeping it. And because it's double engaged, I get my sneak Spoke attack components. bonus. And I miss it. <laughs> my seven. I'm all excited. Okay. <laughs> Horde. You can spend half your movement to get up from prone. And then do nothing. <laughs> well, no, he could throw a javelin. I could. Well, oh, you could just no. keep lying there on the ice and throw it anyway. This is why we know we're against you, Dia. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do it! I could, but I think I'm just going to get up from prone, because if I just throw a javelin, I'm likely to hit him. Yes! Okay. He's kind of in the way. Is there a disadvantage for firing in the melee? You know, I wasn't able to find one, but that doesn't mean it's not there. It just means I didn't hmm. see it immediately. Okay. I'm, I'm going to stand up from prone and end my turn. Okay, Ellie. Can I get over there? I think you can stand here because you're at least five feet away from every single one of us. Yeah, that works. Stabity. <laughs> the DM looks all excited. Huh? It's very, very okay. close to provoking broken ice. <laughs> okay. So we're like here. I'll take a five foot step. <laughs> and sink all of And then decks away. <laughs> First attack is an eight. No. Second attack is a ten. No. <laughs> Come on, even the half orc hit him with a blind javelin throw. <laughs> I don't see you doing any better. <laughs> oh, what? Famous I, sneak attack. Who was the one who's already killed one? That's right. That's right. <laughs> this guy. Oh, shit. 
You die. You die. Five foot step away. <laughs> it rolls on one. <laughs> Focus on attacking. Becker, <laughs> you're up! Yeah! Actually, wait, so it rolls a one, so it plunges directly straight down into the ice. You can barely get around it. <laughs> it might be an end of coal. I don't know if that's actually. Oh! Crap. crap! You killed one. No, I didn't. It turned into a puddle of ice. You said, yeah, it turned into a puddle. It melted. It's dead. And as in, like, I, 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 I made a mistake. Uh oh. I'm gonna rectify that now. <laughs> When it dies, it explodes. Good thing I'm out of range. Okay, and what does that mean? Do I need to make a save? Both of you two Thanks. were close enough. She wasn't to... at the time. No, nah, she was. No, because I killed it and then it was her turn and then she moved up. So she yeah, okay, there. so just you. Okay. Just you. See, um, I kind of got to give me some... Make, a, make a dexterity Shocking save. Okay. DC 10. Hmm. Nine. Eh. Take one point of damage, it exploded slightly in a burst of uh, shrapnel. With shrapnel. <laughs> this means I'm at five hit points. Okay. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and now you can attack this one. Okay. And you'll kill it and explode it on all of us. Alright, uh, that's the goal. Sixteen. Okay, that's gonna hit, so roll damage. Two. Two. <laughs> I was hoping it would be higher than that, so I could be like, awesome, ha ha. Okay. Javier. Stabby, stabby. 17. That will hit. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Are you rolling one dice to damage. attack and hitting it twice, or? No, he's got sneak attack because he's... Oh, flanked. Got it. So you kill it and explode it. Deck save. Everybody deck save DC 10? No. Yes. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Not you. Not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. So, That's a show of hands, who failed? Take five. Oh, no. Skin. Boom! <laughs> oh. That's what that does. <laughs> it's like a balloon, you just pop it. Are you dead? <laughs> I am like at zero hit points. Not actually dead until negative ten. I am at zero hit so points. So you are at zero hit points. You collapse unconscious. Oh. The ice makes a saving throw versus the weight of your impact. <laughs> it succeeds. Yay! And you do not plunge beneath the ice into the water. I appreciate that. I suppose I'm gonna have to touch him. And now, guys, hold on. Uh oh. And how do you plan on doing that? How do we get close enough to save him? Five feet? He's there on the ice, collapsed. Viking funeral. <laughs> can I... He's got a hammer, you can shuffle for me. Can I, without actually moving, lean and touch him without putting my weight within the five foot Can you do that five feet? That'd be a long lean. <laughs> Can you it use your right toe? It depends <laughs> where the, kind of the borders are. If you are very, very cautious, I will let you attempt, if you lay yourself prone on the ice, to reach towards him and touch. We could just try lassoing him <laughs> and just drag him back. I could throw the kobold's body at him and see if it makes sense. The fog, disi the fog has dissipated. This is dissipated. Too long. Do you have rope? Yes. How are we going to tie it around you? We only need to hook him. <laughs> I can send my mouse out there with the rope and have it like. It's not an intelligent, like familiar. No, it's not. It just tickles though. <laughs> it's just. A... He'll throw a little cobalt on him. <laughs> I could try and lasso him if you give me your rope. How long do we have to stabilize him? I'm not. Every well, six. every round you get to make a save versus death. Is now it zero or is it the negatives? Zero is fine. Okay. Your save versus death gets no modifiers. Okay, it's a straight roll. It's a DC ten roll. If you succeed three times, you stabilize. 
If you fail three times, you die. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I'm and you scared. keep rolling every round until one of the two things happens. Yeah, you might just have to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's no enemies, there's no danger in laying prone. Right, I can just take my time, so I'm just going to very cautiously reach out and... <laughs> okay. The ice is cracking, but seems to be holding. Okay. I'm going to have you make one of your saves versus death. Okay, that's one fail. <laughs> and your heal spell will heal for how much? Uh, 1d8 plus my wiz mod. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Nice! 11. Four. That's plenty. That's... Back on your feet you may get. You're currently prone. And at max hit points. But you have been healed. <laughs> Give me time to like move back before you start trying to stand up. You guys can spread back out safely. <laughs> the ice appears to be holding. Can I use acrobatics to try and let's just like, cautiously get walk myself across like the ice. like I don't know like swim across the ice? Let's you you want to do springing back tumbling flips? No 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 no. But I want to be like you know like a gymnast kind of like cautiously tight roping or whatever tiptoeing so there's very little weight on the ice. Have you seen a lot of gymnasts do the worm? You realize that if you put your weight on less surface area, it's actually more likely to break through. She's right. Well, anyway. Anyway. So, let's move our way to the island. You guys are able to move towards the island. For those of you who are watching, I uh, wish to describe the picture. Uh, imagine a fried egg <laughs> with some steam coming off of it. 